Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you very much for joining me for today's tutorial. We have a super fun one today. We're going to be making this Batwing mini cracker die set from Simply Made Crafts. It's from the Happy Haunting collection which is out now and it's brand new. I absolutely love this die. I had so much fun designing this one. I knew what I wanted to do. I had to have the bat shape with the bat wings and again you can trim these off if you wanted to make an ordinary cracker as well so this would be perfect just for any occasion it doesn't have to be Halloween if you chop off the um, the edges there of the bat wing so we have so many different designs so, okay so here is the die set so this is going to cut everything out all in one all the score lines and all the little diamonds will be cut out for you and again you've got all of this choice here for decoration so I have chosen the um the spider web i haven't got a spider web one yet so i'm going to be using the spider web um die sorry paper and this is going to be needing a large format die cutting machine to get this through as well so something a4 okay so this is quite long and wide so it won't go through that way it goes off the paper so you need to have it going on that way Again, you have plenty of offcuts around here and down the bottom there that you can keep as well. Okay, this is quite a dark piece of paper, so I might just remove that. That's better. You can see what I'm doing now. Right, so let's get all of these score lines folded. So again, it's all done for you love these bat wings that go off the edge so much fun and then we have these little tabs on the side there there we go and then we have more score lines on the side so these ones here the inner ones they fold downwards get everything lined up first just like that and then you can go use your bone folder just to press everything down this will give you some really nice crisp sharp corners okay this will look fantastic with gold gloss cardstock and what else uh, gold glitter no sorry black glitter cardstock as well that would look wonderful okay so we're almost there now so inside these diamonds here they fold upwards now this one here we do have um, a little score line just there it does confuse the eye slightly but the whole section can be folded down just like that and you will still get the straight line and a straight back wing doing that Okay, so now we're ready to pop this together. All we have to do is just add glue to these end tabs just here and also a bit on that tab there. It's hard to see because it's a, a patterned paper, but you should be all right um, in person doing this. It's hard to see on the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this over just like that and then I take this end and press that down, line everything up give it a good press there we go and that is all the glue we need so far I'm thinking I'm gonna add orange yeah I'm gonna use orange accents for this and black card okay so we are now ready to add our ribbon so I do have some uh, pink ribbon here I had some black somewhere I don't know where that went oh here it is I'm gonna go straight for the orange I think so if you're adding treats well what do you mean if you want when you add your treats 
Let me know in the comments actually what treats you would put in here because I know places like Poundland, uh, these are UK shops, uh, Home Bargains, B&M, they do those little chocolates in netted bags. I think Tesco and other supermarkets do them as well. Um, they're currently not out yet but I do sneakily have some left over from last year because I keep them for playing with. I've just tied a double knot here but you can do um, a bow if you want to. Right, so this is where you add your treats in there. Let me know in the comments what you would pop in here. Um, I think a couple of Ferrero Rocher should fit in here too. Uh, what else? Eyeball gobstoppers. Like mini ones, I guess. You might be able to get a larger one in there, but it'll be just the one. A lollipop could go in there as well. You would have a stick coming out the end, but that would fit if you come across any Halloween lollipops. Okay, that looks good just as it is. If that is as how far you want to decorate it, if you're strapped for time, that is perfect. You will get away with a beautiful looking cracker if you stopped right there but let's take this a level further now so let's move over to the stamp set i'm going to be using as i said before the happy haunting sentiment stamp and die so it's an envelope there that has the stamp and the die uh dies there to cut everything out i'm curious actually this is quite bright and reflective let's turn that down a little bit that's reflecting everything so let's grab some orange card Okay, so I've chosen my stamp. I'm going to go for Trick or Treat. This one's also a good one as well. I put a spell on you. Okay, so let me know down in the comments. I'm really curious. Do you die cut your... Um, image first and then stamp on it or do you stamp on it and then die cut it I'd love to know I prefer to die cut it first and then stamp on it I also like to use a stamping surface. This one is Chloe's Creative Cards. Uh, you can get them from Crafters Companion do one as well. So there's a bit of choice, but I just love this surface, especially when I'm using silicon um, and the clear stamps. There we go. That's so pretty, I love that. Okay, let's get this onto a cracker. Oh, that is beautiful. So excited. Okay, I think I might just take, there's a bat here. Oh, there's a smaller bat there. This one is from the stamp and die set. That's a bigger bat. And then we have a smaller bat here. Yeah, I'm gonna use the smaller bat pop that there. I think I'm going to use some silver card. I have some here. How about a silver glitter card? So that's going to look lovely. So let's get everything assembled. I'm going to pop that up onto a uh, foam adhesive. There we go. Now for our finishing accent, just a silver bat. Let's get that done. Okay, I'm going to pop that on with glue because I don't think I'll be able to snip uh, my foam pad that small. And I'm just going to pop it just off to the side. I have a bat here already, so just to offset that so that they're not sitting above each other, I'm just going to pop that on the other side. Ah, this is fiddly. Way. Oh, goodness. You know what? Pick up pencil time. Let's show this bat who is 
boss if I can find my pickup pencil. There we go, this is uh, listed down below as well. I can't remember the brand for that. It's a craft stash brand. Um, I will link that down below. Very useful for sequins and things like that. Tiny little dies. There we go. Got our little bat there. Let's, it's quite bright now, so I'm going to bring back my mat. There we go. So there we have the beautiful and fun Batwing Mini Cracker die set. This die set is so much fun to play with. You're going to get so many lovely comments on these if you make a ton of these. Even if you just make one of them and give it as a gift, you're going to get absolutely wonderful feedback from that. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me today. Everything that I've used is listed down below. Happy Halloween and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.